Let's connect the Mi 360 degree home security camera 2K Pro with the Mi Home app for live streaming and remote viewing. Before we begin, let me tell you some prerequisites. First, your phone need to be connected to a secured and encrypted Wi-Fi network. To check the secured status, open the Wi-Fi settings and look for this lock icon near the connected network name. The Mi 360 degree home security camera will not connect to an open unsecured network and without a network, this camera will not work. The second prerequisite is the Xiaomi Home app. You can download it for free from the Play Store. In different countries, it is named slightly differently. For me, it is named Xiaomi Home, but yours might be different. You can use the QR code in the user manual that come with the Mi 360 degree camera to reach the correct Play Store page. If the app is already installed, scanning the QR will redirect you to the device setup page. The camera is not powered on now as we need to complete some more things before we turn it on. We will now proceed with the setup. When you open the app for the first time, you need to accept the terms and conditions. Press agree. This one is optional so you can reject it safely. Select the country if it is not identified automatically and press save. This is the location permission. It is clearly written as optional but if you do not activate it, you won't be able to search for the device. So we have to tap it to allow it. Then press next. Now the phone will ask your permission to grant access to location. We have reached the home page. As you see front and center, you need to sign in to add devices. Press sign in to open the sign in and sign up page. I already have an account, so I will be signing in. If you don't have one, register for a free me account. Signing is now complete. This finishes the prerequisites and we are ready to add devices to this account. And now is the time to switch on the camera. I will take the camera and connect the micro USB cable to the connector. Remember that the port is upside down, so you need to keep the broader side of the pin upwards and push it in fully. Connect the other end to a socket and turn the switch on. Once you turn the camera on, a yellow light will appear above the lens indicating that it is getting ready for pairing. It will blink yellow until the connection is complete and then a continuous blue light will emit. This is the yellow light I was talking about. Now the camera will start rotating fully and towards the end of the rotation you will hear a recorded direction to scan the QR code. Please scan the QR code located on the label on the camera to enter the configuration now, page. Now, in your mobile device, connection. press the plus button at the top right to start adding the device. Select add a device. A notification asking you to turn on Bluetooth will appear if it is off. You can safely ignore this as the security camera already got detected Awaiting as connection. you can see in the background. Tap on the device tile. This will open up the router selection page. Once the phone is connected to the final router with which the camera is going to be permanently tethered to, press next. Now the connection process will start. In order to transfer the router data, the phone needs to create a temporary Wi-Fi network. You will be asked permission to create the network. Awaiting Tap connection. connect to use the temporary network. Once the initial connection is successful, the Mi Home app will need the camera permission to scan the QR code. You can also add the camera manually using a 4 digit pin spoken out from the camera. The QR code that needs to be scanned is located at the bottom of your camera. This is different from that on the user manual. Scan the QR code with the Mi Home app to finalize the connection. Connecting, please wait. Once the connection is finalized, you will hear an audible confirmation about the same. Connected to Wi-Fi network successfully. Device paired to account successfully. On to the final steps now. If you have multiple cameras, you can arrange them by room here. Tap next if you are finished. If you want to rename the camera, you can do it on this page. If you want to share the feed to others, you can share it to a maximum of two others. This is the final permission. You need to agree to the terms and conditions to see the live feed. Here is the live feed of the OnePlus mascot. Let me adjust the camera a bit. You can also use the dial on the display to adjust the camera remotely. 
A full 360 degree view can be obtained by rotating the camera. Movements to all four directions is supported by the Mi Home security camera. You can also see the feed in full screen. The image is a bit blurry because the camera is not designed to focus on very close objects. I will move the camera a bit to see if it is focusing. Now the focus is a bit better. You can also zoom in on the feed up to 6 times by double tapping or pinch to zoom action. So this is how you connect the Mi 360 home security camera 2K Pro to the Mi Home app. Hope this video was a help to you. Thank you for watching this video. Have a happy day.